smack that wow react. Five's latest album is called V. It's called what? V. V. Yeah, it's like the letter of the alphabet. That's baller. Maybe it's like their fifth album. Oh, Dude, Roman numerals are kind of where it's at. Oh, Rune 5, man. Rune 5 is hot. I'm gonna look them up on Pitchfork. Rune 5 is actually pretty big right now. Everyone's actually dropping some decent tracks, you know, this crunchy bass, this, uh... That's Fantana. You know, booming, booming, uh... And honestly, kind of I didn't mind a lot of these tracks, you know? They had good production, <laughs> great bass, great songwriting. Uh, just really solid pop music, I think. Pushes glasses forward. <laughs> but what it is, uh, uh, I'm sure. And, you know, these guys um, aren't changing the history, changing the face of pop music, but... <laughs> I could see myself listening to it. Let's look at, I mean, what is the best new music right now? You know, now? Fantano is, I think he's vegan. Or maybe he's vegetarian. Yeah, he is. He's a vegan he's who, vegan. who goes to the gym. Good on it. It's pretty funny. Dude, yes, there's some good best new reissues out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's some hot content that I can spread. I can be knowledgeable oh, about in front of others. Yeah. Have you heard of Vagabond or J Song? No. Oh man, what? They got oh. eight point six on. Oh, dude, four. you haven't heard of them? Yeah, then Melina, dude, is careful, wise, an excellent album is the red debut that expands the borders of the genre. It's not boredom pop because it sounds a certain way, but because it feels so intimate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've never thought of it like that, but you're right. Yeah, like virtuous though it may be, patience is a difficult quality to capture in guitar rock, and this just does it greatly. Yeah, greatly. Yeah, a medium that much prefers boldness, really, guitar rock, and concision and urgency. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah perhaps see. that's why the uh, Bay Area multi instrumentalist Melina uh, Duterte's um, reverence for the human capacity to wait and think and grow comes across as a uh, revelation on Everybody Works. Yeah. Which is the first official um, album as Jason. I don't know, what do you think? Um, well, I was I did have some thoughts on it, but you sound like very informed, so I sort of feel like I should just leave it to you. It's just like really um, bedroom pop. Um, you know, it's a genre designation that loses meaning by the year. Honestly, um, that's so. true. It's, uh... Is that use a shit band? Like a shit thing, which is like on the pitchfork dick? Who? Run the jewels. Yeah. Honestly, so, like, people love that shit, and I'm really not into it. Bad. Yeah. Bad. Oh, well, that's interesting to hear that you don't like it as well. Yeah, I was blinded. That's bad. Were you into I it the, initially, or? No, nah, nah, I used to be into it, yeah. Right. But, uh, well, I just the, I put on the, the third album. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, it's sort of like one of those things that it, it doesn't seem like they'll ever criticize it. Because it's also, like, that's another thing that they, they book them all the time for their festivals and shit. So, like, it's kind of in their interests to praise them as well, partially, business-wise. They got a flawless record, you know, they got, um, they're rocking an 8.5, 
Move it up to a 9.0 and then back down to an 8.6. What's next? A 10? <laughs> What's next? A goddamn 8.9? <laughs> I mean, Christ. <laughs> an 8.9? Are you fucking kidding me? You fucked. <laughs> Can we just have a discussion here? I mean, fucking Solange only got a 8.4. And she's fucking oh, no, album of the goddamn year? I don't think so. <laughs> she got an 8.7, then you're about to sit down and tell me that Jason only gets an 8.6. I mean, Christ. Jason's making bedroom pop. She's redefining the genre of guitar rock with, um, you know, disp- you know, discarding of the concision and urgency that it's known for. <laughs> Honestly, when I think bedroom pop, I think urgency. Yeah, and Jay Song, and when it comes to Solange, yeah, she's sure, she's irrelevant, she's a black female artist, she's talking about issues related, but you know, 8.7, 8.6, yeah, you're kidding me with that. I mean, it's obvious the difference, really. Like, I understand that Solange's new record is stunning, and a thematically unified <laughs> and musically true statement on the pain and joy of black women, but Seriously, 8.7 versus 8.6 against Jay Song with her bedroom pop, her excellent album that's rare that expands the borders of the genre. Are you kidding me with that? Are you fucking me with it's that? Not even, it's not bedroom pop because it sounds a certain way, it's because it feels intimate. It's not even about what it sounds like, it's about its, <laughs> its thematic content. It's, it's not even about what it sounds 